their sky-high kicks and glittering costumes, the Rockettes are in every way American icons. The dance company has been around for nearly a century, famously performing at New York City's Radio City Music Hall in shows like the Christmas Spectacular. But only the best of the best will ever get the chance to dance on Radio City's stage. So what does it take to earn the coveted title of a Rockette? And how do these dancers put on one of the most anticipated events of the holiday season? It takes a really special human being to be a Rockette because you are one of a line and you can't really be a soloist. And as a dancer, that sometimes is a challenge, but it's what these women love and it makes it really special to be a member of that team. By late September, casting for the Christmas Spectacular is complete and it's time for the dancers to start rehearsals. The Rockettes rehearse six hours a day, six days a week, for about six weeks before we open up the show. The choreography integrates several styles of dance, so the Rockettes must be quick to adapt to tap, jazz, and ballet. This year's show presented another challenge, learning how to dance with drones. So the finale for the Christmas Spectacular this year is based on the concept of Christmas lights. There will be 100 drones encircling the stage and revealing the rockets behind a drone curtain. Have you seen the drones yet? Are you nervous about dancing with them? I'm not. <laughs> I think it's gonna be amazing. I mean, the people, they've been working on this for months. Dancing isn't all that's required from the Rockettes when it's showtime. That is something that a lot of people don't realize is that we show up and we do our own hair, our own makeup. We have an amazing team behind the scenes that are choreographed alongside us to help us with our costume changes. Uh, one of our costume changes is actually 78 seconds and it's from our Parade of the Wooden Soldiers, so we have a lot of pieces. The Wooden Soldiers is an iconic number that we've had in the show since 1933, so there really is no room for error. We spend a lot of time on the soldier fall because it has to be so precise. We have a certain amount of steps that we do in between each move. We start nice and small and then we slowly grow the line, so that way uh, once all 36 of us are on stage, it's smooth and seamless and we work as one strong unit. In a way, the Parade of the Wooden Soldiers is more than a dance number. It's a visual representation of what it really takes to be a Rockette, and why that title has held such esteem for nearly a hundred years. So the Radio City Rockettes are the only dance company where precision is absolutely a priority. It's what separates us from anybody else as dancers. Everything you see is detailed out to how high your arm is, where your cheek is, where your eyes are looking. Every, every move you make is like mapped out on the stage to create perfect patterns. So as the Rockettes continue to evolve as a dance company, we always hold on to that precision and that tradition.